When you think of a civil war, you most likely think of the American Civil War, in which the northern and southern states clashed over differences in more than just their views of slavery. Although many contribute that to be the driving force, as we know in war, there are usually multiple reasons or factors as to why things escalate to the point of no return. Speaking specifically of the American Civil War, some have contributed Lincoln winning the election in the North, as well as the economy or fears of what may happen to it. Others have attributed potential changes to laws, or specifically the Southern states wanting to nullify federal laws as a few of the many reasons the Civil War broke out. Either way, it's clear there's more than just one driving factor. And although many thought the United States was headed that way again with this recent election, well, the people showed they were better than that. Kinda. Uh. Today on LBQ, we're asking what could cause a civil war in 2021. Smash that like button and let's go! Let's go, baby! Now, when you think of civil war, obviously because of what you're taught in school, you think of the guns, the killing, and a big old mess. I'll be honest, I went to school in Canada, so I don't even know if they really taught us about it, but hey, we got Google. Either way, that's not the point here, guys. Point is, our general idea of a civil war is the two sides within the same community disagreeing on something and then fighting, or state, or country, Point is, you get it. Almost like when people would take to the streets for or against something, you know, to protest, and then opposing protests would clash with said protesters, thus creating a civil war. So I think we all have our answer, a difference in beliefs or perspectives. However you put it, all in all, it seems clear there are a handful of things that could cause a civil war in 2021, with the most obviously being something politically motivated. But depending on how you look or potentially approach a question like this, say whether or not you want to take the idea of a civil war literally, or if you're willing to settle with the idea of two sides disagreeing, being a war of sorts, well that changes the question here. Do they have to actually go to war where people are dying with guns and stuff, or is it just kind of like a disagreement and, you know, you argue a lot? More specifically, one could make the argument that, although it wasn't fought the same way the Civil War from 1861 to 1865 was fought, the way the United States of America appeared to be incredibly divided during their last election was a war in itself. Now, the definition of a civil war, I quote, is a violent conflict between a state and one or more organized non-state actors in the state's territory. Now, looking over the series of events that have occurred in the last year or year and a half, give or take, it seems there are a few instances in which one could potentially argue a civil war of sorts broke out. Although less deadly than the original, for example, the storming of the Capitol building could be considered a civil war of sorts. The riots that occurred during the protests in response to the police brutality could be considered a civil war of sorts. And even the arguments and physical physical altercations that have taken place between strangers over masks could, in a sense, be considered a civil war. The one thing all those examples have in common is the people, regardless of what they're standing for, are going against the government, or in this case, properties and against the law. Whether it's trespassing into the Capitol building, smashing store windows, or refusing to wear a mask where it's legally required and escalating to an aggressive state, one could argue those are all violent conflicts between one or more non-state actors in this case, people, and the state, or in this case, the United States of America, or just the government. Now, it is a bit of a tricky one, because technically, the majority of these people in the examples previously mentioned would be Americans. But the same could be said for the Civil War of the 1800s, although it was more evident there was obviously much more of a divide with the North and the South. Point I'm making is that, as we've seen, political unrest usually tends to be a driving force behind the people rising up against governments. More specifically, laws for or against people or organizations that feel they are being put at a disadvantage or having their rights as a human being infringed upon. It's what partially led to the first civil war starting in 1861 and would likely be the reason for the next if there is one. However, as previously mentioned, it seems there are usually more than one factor leading to a breakout of a civil war. And what some may argue is political from another person's perspective could simply just be a health concern. Obviously, I'm referencing vaccines in which for whatever reason, at least as per the media, has become a very political thing in which one side appears to be very for them and the other side very against them. Maybe it has nothing to do with one's political beliefs, but instead their personal beliefs or even the media they consume misinforming them. You know, it's interesting. A common theme here appears to be the media. Is it possible that they could cause a civil war? No, never. <laughs> Speaking of media, let's get to technology. There's of course the argument I could make where eventually half the world has the Neuralink lodged in their brains and feel a sense of superiority over regular humans for lack of a better word. This could definitely lead to a divide in which the humans feel those with brain chips are partially robots. I know it sounds crazy, but we'll see what happens in a few months. I mean, really, who knows? It sounds like a movie from the early 2000s, but given that a chimp was able to control a game of Pong with his mind, well, who knows what abilities this brain chip will give humans. Maybe they become stronger than the average person, more intelligent. Who knows? Point is, they feel so different, so out of place, or they make us feel so different and out of place, that we begin to clash. 
and a civil war breaks out. That being said, they haven't even started clinical trials, so maybe this doesn't happen in 2021. But you guys got me on camera saying it first, so if it ever does happen, told you so. <laughs> and lastly, something else that I would love to point out is how quick people truly are to argue about literally anything. You guys remember that whole Yanny Laurel thing where a sound went super viral in 2018 and some people heard the word Yanny while others heard Laurel? Turns out both parties were right, as the recording did have both words. And those who focused on the higher frequency sounds heard Yanny, while those who focused on the lower frequencies heard Laurel. Meaning this led to a massive divide on the internet all over the world where in the end, both sides were actually right. So if that doesn't tell you the state of the world, well, I really don't know what does. Prior to this, in 2015, there was the black and blue or white and gold dress. Turns out again, in this case, those who saw the dress as black and blue were in fact correct when the original retailer confirmed the colors. That being said, some people did see white and gold. That's a video in itself. However, the point is, again, Technically, those that saw white and gold were wrong, but from their perspective, they were right. I'm one of those people. I legitimately see white and gold. So how could someone argue that it's black and blue when I see with my eyes white and gold? It's just from your perspective. All in all, the point I'm making here is that anything could start a civil war in 2021. From very serious crimes and issues all the way to online disagreements, it seems our world has gotten to a place where people are just ready to fight, unfortunately. Go on Twitter and you'll find arguments about anything, like literally anything left, right, and center. And when enough people get behind an idea, regardless of said idea, well, that's when things start happening. What those things are depend on the cause and organization. But as we saw, people were willing to band together to storm Area 51, and a year and a half later, went after a federal government building. Granted, it likely wasn't the same people who were part of both groups, but all the more reason to believe that a handful of events can lead to a civil war in 2021. That being said, will there ever be anything in comparison to what happened in the 1860s? No, I don't believe so. And there you guys have it for what could cause a civil war in 2021. I don't love getting too political, to be honest, but let me know your thoughts down below on this one anyways. For now, let's do some common replies from the video. Can you outrun a T-Rex? And San said, I was literally just talking about this exact topic with my papa, LMAO. Well, you got an answer. I got you. But I want to know, what'd your papa say? What'd you say? Sam Demand said, ever since Life's Biggest Questions did videos with their faces, it's gotten way better. Well, you know what I got to say to that? This is my face. Hope you like it. And Sam, you get a man, baby. Sonny Muffin said, I don't have to outrun a T-Rex. I just have to outrun the slowest person in my group. See, normally, if it's like a pack of wolves, maybe, but T-Rexes were massive, dude. They were like 13 feet just from their hips. I think they weighed like, I don't know, 14 tons or something. Like they weighed a lot, they ate a lot. One human is not enough. They would eat like a school of people. A whole office building of people would be suffice for like one meal for a T-Rex, I think. So I think you do need to worry about outrunning it. Anyways, guys, that's all for this one. I've been your host, the spiciest host in the game, Jared Pepper Bronstein. And we'll see you guys soon. Keep it spicy, my friends. Let me just, ow, that was a little spicy, the camera there. <laughs>